Hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial. Uh, in this playlist we're going to be learning how to uh, create mobile applications not in React Native uh, but in Flutter which is written in the language Dart um, and I believe that's a Google language so uh, Dart is a relatively new language. Uh, it's pretty similar to JavaScript has a couple of Java elements in it um, but once you start writing code it should be pretty easy to pick up on. Uh, there's no s super uh, different uh, syntax uh, differences between this and JavaScript syntactically, um, but it is a lot like JSON, uh, so it, it doesn't look a little uh, more appealing uh, to read and or write. All right, so in this video, we're just going to go ahead and, and walk through the install process. Uh, I'm going to be installing it on Windows 10. Um, it only requires Windows 7 uh, or later, so if you're on Windows 7, this will also work. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is go to this page, uh, this Flutter install page, um, and click on the link up here, uh, just installing the Flutter library. Alright, so once Flutter has finished installing, you're going to get a zip file in your uh, downloads folder. So you can go ahead, take this and copy it over to uh, a folder. Um, I would recommend going into a folder like C slash source. And then in there have a libs folder. That's what I, that's where I like to keep my uh, individual libraries um, because program files requires elevated privileges, so that won't work. Um, so just paste it in here, and then you're going to right click it and click extract here. All right. So now that Flutter has finished installing, or the uh, zip file has finished uh, extracting the files. I think this is about a gigabyte. It, yeah, it's 1.5 gigabytes, but you have to remember that this is installing in a whole nother language with it. So it, it takes in the Dart libraries with it um, and essentially uh, goes from there. Um, so now we have to add this to our uh, uh, to our path. So find, go into the Flutter and find the bin folder and copy the path to the folder. And then go into your search uh, bar and type in environment variables and then click environment variables and go to your user variables, path, edit, and then new, and then just paste it in there. And then click okay, okay, and okay. Uh, now when we go into a command prompt, so cmd, and we run something like flutter doctor, uh, it will recognize this command as uh, going to this, uh, to this folder right here and it will run these files. Um, so we are going to get some errors because there's not everything installed. Um, so because if we're developing on Android, and since we're on Windows, we can only develop on Android, we have to install Android Studio, the Android SDK, and all that stuff. So if you already have that installed, uh, good, just make sure everything else is checked off. Um, but in the latter part of this video, I'm just going to be uh, walking through the installation of Android Studio. All right, so for the installation of Android Studio, we really only need this uh, for the emulator um, because uh, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. It has a, a running uh, plugin within it, uh, which is really helpful. Um, but uh, Android Studio uh, will be able to download the Android SDK, which we need, along with uh, getting the emulator, which we'll also need if, we, if you don't have an Android device connected. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to go to this page here, and all these links will be in the description down below. And I'm going to click on Download Android Studio, Agree, and Download. Once Android Studio, uh, the setup uh, installer finishes downloading, go into your Downloads folder, and we're going to run this. Um, I'm not going to walk through everything, um, because it's pretty simple just to go through the uh, process itself. Um, and I do have a separate video on, on installing uh, the Android Studio, but that was with React Native. Um, but anyway, all you want to do is just make sure that you download everything here. Uh, keep this as that, go next, install everything, and let this finish. When it says completed, you want to go ahead and click next, and then uh, finish, have start Android Studio going. Um, you can go ahead and just uh, you don't have to specify anything here, but if you already have uh, settings installed, you can just do that if you want, and then click OK. Um, you can do that, 
and then uh, delete directory. That doesn't really matter. Um, so you, you're going to get into this setup uh, or this uh, start window here. Um, so to install our emulator, you want to go ahead and click configure AVD manager. And then you're going to get a lot of this stuff. And then you're going to go ahead and create a virtual device. And you select whatever. You go ahead and click next. Uh, you click whatever API level, click next. Uh, you name it whatever, click finish. And it's going to install. And I, since I already have it installed, uh, it's doesn't it didn't go through a long process, but it's about 11 gigabytes. Um, so yeah, so that's the uh, emulator process. And now we're going to go ahead and actually uh, install the required tools uh, to actually run this. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Visual Studio Code. Um, it's relatively simple um, to to install, uh, and then we just have to install. Uh, two uh, plugins, um, but when we install the Flutter plugin, uh, it will install the required Dart plugin as well. So go into Visual Studio. Um, you can go and uh, just leave that. And then you can go into Extensions. Uh, you're going to search extensions in the marketplace. So go ahead and search uh, Flutter. Enter, and then just click the top one. And it should be from Dart Code. Click install. <sighs> All right, so now that it has been installed, um, we can go back into our Explorer, and we can now go ahead and use uh, our use the actual uh, um, Flutter Doctor commands in here. So uh, to go to the, we can go to the command palette or click Command or Control Shift P. Uh, and do flutter and then run flutter doctor just to make sure everything works all right uh, issues no devices that's fine uh, flutter plugin that's okay because we're not using IntelliJ um, and Android studio we're not using that so that's all good um, also another thing to be wary of is when you install uh, your Android studio make sure that you have the path variables once again I'm gonna have a more in-depth video of just installing the Android emulator itself and all those path variables. All right, so now, now that we know the plugin works fine, we can go ahead and create a project, and this is also gonna be in the command palette. So you're gonna go ahead and say Flutter new project, uh, and I'm gonna name this uh, YT tutorial, and I'm just gonna put it in this folder right here. And it's gonna open it up in a new window and we're just going to let it install everything. So you can close out of this window and all right, so now it has everything installed. And you see that this looks a little confusing because there's a lot of comments. Um, you can go ahead and actually delete all of this stuff here or um, we, we can just leave it for now. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and actually try and run this thing. So I'm going to go into my emulator and start it up. All right, with the emulator, uh, if emulator or any other Android phone, uh, you want to allow USB USB debugging, and then you can minimize this. I'm just gonna put these like that, and then now uh, we are in our uh, we're in the project. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and run this. The way you're gonna do that is uh, in on the left side. There's a uh, run bar, so just click run and debug. Okay, so that process did take a while, um, but that process will only be this long on the first time that we run it every session uh, because we'll be able to use something called Hot Reload. Um, and Hot Reload allows us just to change one thing and then save it, and then it'll automatically apply the changes without having to restart the entire application. So all we can see is that we have uh, this thing here, and there's a counter, and it just counts how many times that we've pressed the button. So. We're going to go ahead and test out that hot reload. So find line 95 and change the the uh, word pushed to clicked. Uh, and then save it with Control S. 
and you see it says reloaded one of 478 libraries and then now you see that the text is updated you have clicked the button this many times and also notice that the state the variable is not changed the the variable has the, the hot reload does not completely restart the application it doesn't reset the states um, so yeah that is our test app and uh, in the next video stream maybe later today I'll be walking through the uh, tutorial application for um, Flutter. So yeah, I will see you then. Bye.